And who are these two cheeky chaps? That's myself with Ewan Jackson. Even Jackson. Looking back at old times with her daughter Jane, Ella Fuller finds names and dates come easily, but more recent events, like her 84th birthday, have left no mark on Ella's memory. At first, her forgetfulness and confusion was put down to depression. A diagnosis of dementia took several years. You know, the sooner you get a diagnosis, the sooner you can start dealing with it. And it's much better, I think, to know what you're dealing with, for me, than to just be frightened of what's happening to your relative. And it is quite scary. And the further you go down that road, the scarier it gets, if you don't know what's going on. So why is dementia more likely to be diagnosed in some areas rather than others? Southern Health NHS Foundation Trust covers Southampton and most of the rest of Hampshire. It's diagnosing around half of dementia cases and says it's seeing good progress. In the end, it's not centrally planned. Uh, in the end, PCTs, in other words, commissioners, have specified in each part of the country what they want and what they need to see. Uh, fortunately, in, in our local area, commissioners have, are enlightened and they've been aware of this need for some time and they've worked with us in Southern Health to improve that situation. Dorset Primary Care Trust, which diagnosed only 32% of dementia cases, says among other initiatives it's giving GPs more support and raising public awareness. Ministers say dementia diagnosis must be a priority in all areas. I think it's about leadership locally, those areas like Southampton that are doing well, that have managed to dramatically improve uh, diagnosis rates, demonstrate what's possible and in a sense the challenges to every area, to Dorset and every other part of the country, to see what's happening elsewhere, to recognise that it is possible to dramatically increase diagnosis rates. Since the dementia diagnosis, Jane and her mother have the support they need. The hope is others won't have to wait so long. Bryony Leyland, BBC South Today, Swanmore.